screen tested for Captain America. When they asked me to test, they actually allowed me to put on the suit. Only bummer of it was, I was putting on the suit and I got about right to my waist and all of a sudden Chris Hemsworth walked by his door and he's like, hey mate, and I went, I'm good, this is stupid. <laughs> I, just... I never auditioned for Loki. I only ever auditioned for Thor. Basically at the time, the remit was if you're over six foot and you've got blonde hair and you know, you could come and have a pop at it. I think we can all agree that they cast the right actor. Was it true that you auditioned for Captain America? I did have a screen test for that back in the day, but they actually didn't let me do it because they realized I was on a show in New York for nine months of the year. I right. Got, a buddy of mine told me he went in there and they had a suit made with my name on it. After nine films, I'm thinking, oh, man. You auditioned to play Batman. It was obvious that Christian Bale was going to be Batman. Not, at that time, it was clear. But I did get to, I think it was the Val Kilmer suit. <laughs> yeah. I tried on. You know, you put it on, you put the cowl on, and the voice drops. And it yeah, drops sure. A couple of octaves. You can't do the Batman voice without doing the Batman. You almost played Spider-Man at one point. Toby got hurt after the first one. Yeah, there was talk. He, he hurt himself, and there was talk, and a slew of actors, and I was one of them. And, you know, I think the playing of Spider-Man or the idea of that or superhero is always really exciting and fun. You screen test for Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. and I, uh, we screen tested on the same day. And uh, I'm still waiting to hear back. And uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, these things, they get caught up in uh, development, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. <laughs>